Wow. In case you guys didn't see, former five-star recruit and USC quarterback JT Daniels entered his name into the transfer portal a few weeks ago, and the rumored landing spots were originally Tennessee and Michigan, but honestly, no one had any idea. In the last few hours, the crystal ball began to switch towards Georgia, and many people thought he was going to commit there. This afternoon, he actually made that official, and JT Daniels is headed to Georgia. This is really interesting for multiple reasons. First, many did not think that Daniels would go to Georgia. Second, they already had a quarterback in Wake Forest grad transfer Jamie Newman, and he was expected to be the team's guy. Also, this really affects the SEC East, as many people thought Florida was going to be the better team. This is also going to affect the quarterback depth and the roster on the team, and I'm going to dive into that in today's video. Many people think that JT could be a better quarterback for Georgia now, and because he did not redshirt, and he only played in one game before he got injured last year, he should also be immediately eligible. In today's video, I'm going to briefly talk about the rise of JT Daniels, what this means for Georgia, and how this will affect Jamie Newman and the rest of the SEC. First, if you are new to the channel, be sure to take a moment and subscribe. I make videos about college football, I need your help to reach 2.5k subscribers by the end of June. Be sure to hit that like button, drop a comment, share this video with your friends, and turn on post notifications so you never miss another upload. Now let's get started. JT Daniels was a 5-star recruit coming out of Matter Day High School, and he originally chose to play for USC. While at Matter Day, he won the Gatorade Player of the Year award, and he led his team to a 15-0 record and a national title. He was the third-ranked quarterback in his class, after he decided to reclassify and jump into the 2018 class. As a freshman, USC struggled, and it was clear that he just wasn't ready yet. He won the quarterback battle between Matt Fink and Jack Sears, and he became the second true freshman in school history to be the week one starter. As a freshman, he started 11 games and threw for 2,672 yards, 14 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions, and he spent one game on the sidelines due to a concussion. USC struggled that year, they ended up going 5-7 and seven and had one of the worst seasons in recent memory. The team was young though, and many people expected Daniels to break out his sophomore year. He beat out Matt Fink and true freshman Keaton Slovis for the starting job, but he tore his ACL in their game against Fresno State. From there, Slovis broke out, and he's now the team's starting quarterback for the foreseeable future, and he's a major 2022 NFL draft prospect. Because of that, JT entered his name to the transfer portal, and his recruitment was wide open. Rumored spots I saw were Tennessee and Michigan, but never in a million years did I think it'd be Georgia. Jake Fromm left for the NFL draft, and Georgia needed a new quarterback. Instead of going with a young guy like Carson Beck, Stetson Bennett, or Dewan Mathis, they chose to offer Wake Forest grad transfer Jamie Newman, and he ended up committing to Georgia. He's going to be the team's starting quarterback, and many people saw him as a Heisman contender. Newman is more of a dual threat guy, and he was going to give Georgia a different look than most of their quarterbacks of the past. Personally, I thought Newman was a little bit overrated, but I'm really excited to see what he could have done. A lot of people forget about Daniels, and no one really knew where he was going to go. But as of this morning, a lot of reports began linking him to Georgia, and he officially announced on Instagram and Twitter this afternoon that he was going to be a Bulldog. So what now for Jamie Newman? Well, he is a grad transfer, and Daniels is the more talented player. Because of this being Jamie's last season, I honestly believe he's going to transfer, and I would be insulted if this happened to me. It looked like he was going to be Kirby's guy, but he brought in someone to replace him. I think Newman could potentially win the battle, but I think Daniels would be starting by the end of the year, and Newman should honestly just go elsewhere, where he could be the actual full-year guaranteed starter. With 5-star recruit Brock Vandegrift coming in in 2021, and 4-star recruit Carson Beck now on the roster, I honestly expect Dewan Mathis and Stetson Bennett to transfer now as well. Some people are going to say that Daniels won't be the same because of injury, but I think Newman needs to get out of town before his job is taken. There is no reason why Daniels wouldn't be eligible to play this season, and unless that's somehow not possible, or he's still injured, then Newman needs to find a new home. This changes Georgia's season tremendously. They're now going to have an elite pocket passing quarterback with a ton of weapons. Yeah, JT wasn't amazing at USC, but they weren't a very good team, he didn't have a ton of weapons, he was young and inexperienced, and Clay Helton is not a very good coach. With options such as George Pickens, Dominic Blaylock, Tyler Simmons, and Demetrius Robertson, I fully expect him to switch to a more passing heavy offense. This will also let James Cook and Zamir White settle into their roles at running back and give them time to break out. I think Daniels is going to have a huge year to be honest, I think this makes Georgia a more legitimate playoff contender, because honestly, I thought they were a bit overrated. As for the rest of the SEC East, many people thought that Florida was going to be the better team in 2020. I honestly gave Florida a slight edge, but now I think that Georgia is the better team. I think it'll be a really exciting 2020 SEC season, and I now think Georgia will return to Atlanta instead of Florida. This now makes the challenge tougher for teams like Tennessee and Kentucky and Auburn, and I also think they have a better chance to be Alabama this year. This is such a crazy turn in the college football world, and I am now super excited that this is happening. I honestly wanted Daniels to go to Tennessee, but Georgia is a good consolation prize, and this is going to make SEC football even better in 2020. Will Daniels be the starting quarterback? Is Georgia now better than Florida? And did Daniels make the right decision? I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you want me to do more videos like this, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. Be sure to like and subscribe, and check out these other cool videos while you're at it. Until next time though, peace.